Okay, Paul, I think we need to start with the obvious. How much does being here invoke those memories in 99? Yeah, nice. It's always nice when you drive in. Uh, you obviously memories come back of what happened, you know, 25 years ago, uh, which is unbelievable to think that it's that long ago. But yeah, it's always nice. I played here a couple of weeks ago in a corporate thing, and every time you come, you, you get the little goosebumps and you, you bring your memories back to what happened all that while ago. So, no, it's always nice. I know it was a, a while ago, but how much do you try and draw on that performance of, of that week when you come into a week like this? Um, well, it's totally different now. I mean, the, the, the game is totally different. I think the golf course was set up, you know, reasonably tough this week, so it might play a little bit like it did, you know, back then. Uh, but apart from that, the whole game, the whole game has changed, technology and balls and clubs and everything, so it's a different kind of kettle of fish now. Um, but the golf course will be the same. The golf course will still play pretty tough. Uh, the course here stands the test of time better than most. They don't have many new tees out there. They don't really have to. The length of it's always pretty good. So it should be a good week. For you, how much was that a life-changing moment in 99, both as, as a person and as a golfer? Uh, well, I, I mean, when you go from a, a decent player who's won two events to then winning you know, the biggest event in the world, there's a fair chance that things are going to change for you. Um, but the biggest change was my schedule. You know, obviously now I'm not in just the European, you know, events. I'm in any event in the world that I want to play in, you know, for the next five years. So that was getting getting used to that was a little difficult. And I was traveling to America to play golf for the first time competitively. Um, and you're flying all over the world. You don't play any golf tournament that you want. So that took a little bit of time, but not long. You get used to it. Like, like everything changes easy the more you do it. Um, so it was not a big issue, but there was a lot of changes happening about then. We moved house, obviously, and we were able to do things that we couldn't do before. So it was all good. There was no negatives, I can assure you, of it. Now, now heading into this week, you probably haven't had the, the competitive reps that you would have liked. you got a lot going on in your life. How do you feel heading into this week with the shape of the game? Yeah, well, not playing is, is my choice. Obviously, I can play a bit more. Uh, I've only played three events. Uh, but I hit a lot of balls and I play quite a lot of golf at home. Uh, I tend to play golf or hit balls most mornings, you know, when I'm home. And then the afternoon is in the office and, and working for the players that we represent in the tournaments that we run. Uh, but every morning I, I kind of do work and I hit balls and still love that. Still love tinkering and practicing and working on stuff with Alan McCluskey, my coach. So I, I'm kind of, I feel as though I'm ready. I'm not, I'm not underplayed. You know, I play a lot of golf. I just haven't played a lot of tournaments. Um, but the ones that I've played, I've not been too bad. I've been all right. I've been competitive. So we'll see what happens. You opted out of a, a place at Troon last week. Was that with one eye on this week? Well, a little bit of both, to be honest. Uh, I'm playing here and then we're up at Stacia PGA next week in Aberdeen. So I thought three weeks in a row would be a little much for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 55. Um, I was never an athlete, but I'm no longer an athlete. Uh, and also, I, I don't want to take a place in a tournament of that size when I'm not competitive and I'm not playing a lot of golf. If I was playing full-time, I think I would still play. Um, but I'm not playing full-time. So I feel as though you're keeping somebody out of a big tournament by doing that. Because even if I made the cut, it would have been a big effort for me to make the cut. So you shouldn't really be playing in tournaments if that's a good week for you. Uh, the rest of the boys who are my age... Like Darren and these boys are still playing full time. So if I was them, I'd be playing 100% too, but I'm not. I don't play much golf. So I thought I'd better give it a skip. Just finally, you do a lot of work with, with Scottish golf, obviously, through your own tour. What have you made of the sort of resurgence we've seen over the last couple of weeks with obviously you and Ferguson and Bobby McIntyre winning on the main tour? What, what do you make of that? Well, obviously, Bob winning at Scottish Open w w was amazing. T to win your home Open is probably the one that any golfer wants. I mean, I said for a long time that if I was allowed one more event, I would like it to be the Scottish Open. So he, he clearly, rightly so, was, was over the moon with what happened there and did brilliantly. But Ewan Ferguson, for me, winning at BMW was a massive week as well. Uh, so we had two winners in recent times coming through. And then we had Callum Scott winning the silver medal at the Open last week. Callum's been in our foundation for a little while. So we know Callum quite well. We know what he's capable of. His ceiling is quite high to what he's going to be, I think. Uh, so it's exciting times coming through. It's nice to see the boys winning tournaments.